kitchen. It'll be good to go. Welcome back to the KWQC Digital Desk. I'm Marsha Lenz. And I'm Kate Kopadich. Thanks for joining us. We're going to go ahead and check in with Iowa Capitol reporter Max Cotton, who is at Eric Sorensen's party right now. Sorry to correct you. Illinois, Illinois Capitol yes. reporter Max Cotton. And yeah, we're at uh, uh, Congressman Eric Sorensen's yeah. watch party that's yep. going on at the Four Brothers in Town Moline. Max, what's the mood there? You know, obviously we're watching the results like everybody else. We don't know what's going to happen. Yes, the press called Illinois for, for Vice President Harris, but nobody's called the rear in the 17th district just yet as we await us to come in. You know, post close almost an hour ago at 7 p.m. So now it's sitting and watching time. I spoke with people from the Soren and they told me they're optimistic heading into the night. And, you know, someone won the district by four points in his first run four years ago. Joe won it by eight points. Uh, four years ago when Sorensen won it two years ago, I think, uh, by four points. And Biden won it by eight four years ago. Of course, we don't know what we're going to see tonight. But what I can tell you is that Sorensen, he's a, obviously a first congressman. He's a meteorologist turned politician. And he was here earlier talking to staff, thanking staff. Uh, we haven't heard from him publicly yet, though, in terms of, he hasn't spoken to the media yet. We expect to get hear from him after we get re more results in. He's obviously facing Joe McGraw. He's a retired judge, the Republican. And, uh, well, this race, this race, even though it's the most competitive congressional district race this year in Illinois, it's actually not rated going into the night by some nonpartisan handicappers to be super competitive compared to other places across the country. They said Sorensen's a clear favorite, just not a definite shoo-in heading into the night. So we'll see what happens. We're still waiting for the vote to come in. It's early here. So we'll see, guys. Reporting live in Moline, Max Cotton, TV6 News. All right, thank you so much for the update. Live.